What's up YouTube? I'm Vaughn and this is the Gear Channel and today we are doing something that a lot of you guys have requested and that is hand testing with my COD deck. So today we are playing against an actual OCG deck though which is Brave Enforcer. Now this is actually a really good deck to practice with because one it does have a lot of hand traps and also it does make a really strong going first board so you definitely want to play test with decks like this. So right away, we are going to be showing you what the deck could definitely do and how to definitely hand loop. But we also have other hand tests like what happened if we brick, what kind of boards can we do, or even going second. So starting first, you see our opening hand. We have the Nunu, we have the Quick Launch, we have the Chaos Space, the Foolish, and the White. So starting first, we're definitely going to use Nunu. And they're going Ash Us, but that is okay. Then we're going to activate Nunu's effect in a grave. And the reason why we're doing that is because we are definitely going to chain our Quick Launch to it. Now, the reason why we're chaining our Quick Launch to it is because in case of any more interruptions, at least we have two level four monsters on the field. And to get out of the whole game restricted and locked into reptiles, we could definitely link both of them off for a King of the Pharaoh Imp. And that opens up a lot more plays. So we're going to do that. Summon so our Tracer. And then the new new. Okay, so once that's done, we're going foolish, and we're going to send the best reptile that was recently released, and that is the Night Sword Serpent. This card is just amazing, and honestly, every Ododic deck should be playing it because there's definitely multiple ways of sending it to the graveyard by effects only, though, and definitely abusing it is very possible. So we're going to use that effect special. And we're going to make King of the Pharaoh Imp and definitely going to use the effect of King of the Pharaoh Imp, but sadly it is going to get effect Valored. But that's okay, we still have a lot of plays like our Chaos Space. Now the reason why we're using Chaos Space is just so we could actually get that extra draw and we could do a little bit more follow up plays because that draw is going to help for a few of our costs. So now we're going to go and get that extra draw. We're going to make Striker to get the add, so add a striker, add a black, and right away we get our boot. So everything's coming all nicely together. Okay, banish, make white, make another king, because we're going to get our nine now, because we really need that water lily, because that water lily is definitely going to make the hand loop, and especially with our opponent only having three cards in hand, it's very easy to hand loop them for three cards. If they had five, still possible, but three just makes it easy. So after that, Naya, send Curse, use Curse, tribute the king that was negated. Then we're going to use Curse to get the Naya. And Naya is going to add the Water Lily. And then we're going to go and use Striker's effect to actually send the King of the Pharaoh Imp so we could get our Tracer. So now we're going to activate Boot, use Boot to Special. And the reason why we're doing that is because now we have a tuner and a non-tuner which makes level eight which makes the chaos ruler so chaos ruler is going to use the effect because the whole point is trying to fill our graveyard with as much reptiles as possible but if it shows other cores that could definitely benefit us as well that's good also so we're going to get the chaos creator abs is going to search a rocket and we're going to banish to spell summon the chaos creator now we're going to use the effect to go and spell summon the Omni. Now a lot of people forget about Chaos Creator though, is that it doesn't have to be your banished monsters. So if your opponent has a bunch of banished monsters like Tri Brigade, you could actually spell summon their monsters as well. It really doesn't care whose banished monsters it is. It's actually a really good card because I know some players might think that you might be stuck because you're like, oh, I only have two banished monsters, can't use the effect. It's like, no, you could use your opponent's monsters as well. So get the Omni. We're going to use Omni to get the Loving Near, but we're not going to use the Loving Near to take a card out of our opponent's hand. We're actually going to be using it just to special summon because we could already get rid of all the three cards very easily by using Darkest Diabolus, Omega, and Ododic King. That already gets rid of all the three cards very easily, so we could actually use Levy Near just to special summon a monster so we could make an extra negate. So after that, we're going to link everything for 
Saruja because we are planning on doing the pit C play to get our tracer back. So after that, we're going to use Saruja to spell summon our Armageddon Knight. And with Armageddon Knight, we're going to send the Zora. And that starts our combo piece because then with the Water Lily, we could actually send the King and spell summon Zora and then hand loop for free. So now make the Pitsy, which is going to spell summon the Tracer, and then we're going to make Seal. So after we make Seal, we're going to use Water Lily, send the King to spell summon Zora. Don't use Zora's effect just yet because we're going to tribute them for King. There we go. Now we're going to use Zora's effect. So we're going to add the queen, discard the queen. Our opponent is going to draw a card, discard a card. And since they did technically add a card, now they have to discard a card. Pro place. Now we're going to use Instant Fusion for our famous Dark Flare Dragon. Now the reason why we're using Dark Flare Dragon in this deck is because it actually is really good, especially for specific situations. But also if you did not... In a situation, or you did not need the instant fusion for Millennium Eyes Restrict, you could definitely use it for Dark Flare Dragon, so it definitely helps a lot of times. This is just an extra time that you could use it. You didn't really need to actually pick the instant fusion, but it's definitely a really good card in this deck. So after that, we're going to go and we're going to synchro for our Omega. Now we're going to banish three lights to get back out Tracer. Oh, and also use Chaos Valkyrie's effect, which is going to send these Star Leaves for the follow up turn. So we're not going to use it now, but for next turn, we have a way to get Levineer back to hand. So after get, get this Tracer. Now we're going to use Queen to tribute the seal and Levineer. Use Erotic Seal to special summon Darkness Diabolus, which is going to put a card in our opponent's hand, either on the top or the bottom of the deck. Our opponent's choice. Very nice. Okay. So now they're down by one card and we have Omega. Now we're going to link for Lambda because this is going to give us our extra negate. So after that, we're going to use Tracer to pop the boot. And this is going to get a Rocket Synchron because we still have Chaos Ruler in a graveyard. So we're going to use Chaos Ruler to Special Summon to get Hot Red. So Hot Red Dragon. So right away, we have one negate. We're going to hand loop our opponent. But because of Lambda, though, we're going to get that extra negate. So we're going to do exactly that. So Banish, Lambda activates. So end phase, we're going to get our Gamma for free. So now we have two negates. Plus, Tracer is actually an interruption in its own way. So it's actually a very strong board, especially with your opponent having no cards in hand. This is just perfect. Now, depending with other decks, you might not make this play. You could actually, if you're against maybe Phantom Knights, you would actually make more of a Sky Prison instead. So then they can't just special summon from the graveyard and you completely lock them. So it's very different outcomes depending what you're playing against. But for this deck, this is pretty much game. So as soon as it's our opponent's turn, they're going to draw, doesn't really matter. They're going to get this wind guy, which is very good in OCG because it makes Colossus right away. So they're going to activate that. We're going to definitely Gamma it. And this is why Gamma is so good in this deck because if you have Tracer or Herotic Seal, you could literally just send the driver to the graveyard so you always have gammas in your hand every end phase because the gamma is going to get banished and in your deck you search for another gamma or if you have herotic seal though instead of the lambda you can literally send tribute the driver to return the gamma back to hand so you have another gamma to activate on the same turn so there's a lot of pro plays that you could do with gamma so that's already gets rid of that okay end phase we're going to use tracer to destroy the driver and special summon, recharger, and now gamma is going to be banished, and then lambda is going to add. So right away, we're going to add the gamma, and look, we are all set, because on our turn, we could just pretty much make a striker, get the levineer, and that's pretty much game. Yeah, equip it with uh, Saruja, and that is game. So let's check our other duels that we have. Okay, guys, now we're hand testing in game two, and we are going second. So we're going to see how the deck does going second. So we have Chaos Space, two Gamma, Abs, and we charge So our hand isn't the greatest, but it is definitely durable. 
So our opponent is definitely going to go off, do the Sanjan play, which honestly, I love this play so much because even though Sanjan negates the effect of the monster, but the Crusader girl is actually a inherent summon, so it doesn't activate at all, so you can special summon for free. So it's actually a really cool way to get your Needle Fiber right away. So definitely you could do that play in a lot of decks. So I think it's actually a very cool combo to know. So they're definitely going to go into the Needle Fiber and to make sure that they don't do the whole Phantom Beast combos with the Board of Negation and Fleur and Herald, we have to Gamma that. So let's do that right now. Okay, so that threat is out of the way. Fusion Destiny is definitely going to get the Enforcer out. They're going to use Fusion Destiny, which honestly I wouldn't. I would actually just let both of them be banished. Like, it's good that they didn't pop the driver because then I could just use the Gamma, but uh, I just wouldn't do that. Okay, so Enforcer is going to come back. So we're going to be dealing with two interruptions. So starting with Chaos Spakes, get the white, send the abs. Abs is going to switch the tracer. Now we're going to banish abs for white. We're going to make striker. And we're going to have the white dragon be chain like one because we don't want them to ash our white because that is the most priority card that we're going to need for the search so we can actually combo off so tracer we don't mind if it gets ash so it's a good link block to do so we're going to do white one striker two and they are going to imperm our striker which we are okay with so we're going to get our black we're going to summon our black they're going to use enforcer now surprisingly they pop the striker which no one would ever do at all because you or white is already banished and now we're actually just going to put the white back to draw and then we are going to chain a uh, quick launch to it didn't really have to chain quick launch but did it anyways so we're going to special and then put it back get our quick launch so we're going to make Chaos Ruler. Black is going to add the white. And now we're going to see what we're going to mill. Okay, so we definitely want the Naya. Okay, use Naya. Send Curse. Use Curse. They're going to bring Enforcer. We're going to use Curse. Get the Naya. Naya. Get the Water Lily. Activate Quick Launch. Get the Tracer. And we're going to overlay for King of the Pharaoh Amp. Get our Nunu. Use Nunu. So Zora, Water Lily. Since we already have King in the Grave, we're going to send Queen. Get Zora. Normal Summon Tracer, because if you guys did not notice, we did not Normal Summon yet. So we're Normal Summoning Tracer. It's kind of cool that you can actually do a lot of different combos without even Normal Summoning. That's why... At one point, I was actually playing Raw Sphere mode inside because it was so easy to play it. And especially that you didn't need your Gnome Summon. It was a really good card. But for today's format, I would not really recommend Raw Sphere mode. So, new new gets supposed to summon. Make another king. We're going to get the Reptilian Cult, which is the MVP of this deck. Use king, tribute, special. Use queen. Tribute special Zora's effects going to activate. So we're going to get the Flogos. Send the Flogos. They're going to have to discard a card. King is going to discard a card. They're going to Valor. Okay. We're fine with that because now Queen is going to be special. So special Flogos. Use Cult. Special summon Cult. Make Savage. Equip it with Striker. One negate. Doesn't matter. Use Chaos Ruler. Special. And that is exactly. 8,000 or more than 8,000 but that's game so with that being said let's see what we can do with a hand that is complete brick
Okay guys, so this time we are starting with a hand that we completely bricked and I just wanted to show you even though you brick, you can still do a lot of plays in this deck. So what we're starting with is a driver, Kage to Kage, a curse, and a Naya which you never want to see both in hand because usually your Naya is going to send the curse, but there is a way around this. And also our Darkest Diabolus, which we don't usually want to see because we usually summon it with Erotic Seal. But with a hand like this, even though as bad as it seems, we can still do a lot of plays. So remember, when you have a hand like this, it's all or nothing. So this is a gambling play. So Naya is going to send the Flogos, and this is actually the only reason why we play Flogos, is for this specific situation with Curse and Naya in hand. So send it, get Flogos, use Kage to Kage to special. We're going to make King. Then we're going to use King. We get Impermed. That is okay. Because now we're going to go and use Curse. Now Curse is going to special summon the Naya. And our Darkest Diabolus is going to trigger as well to special summon himself. So we're supposed to summon both. And Naya is going to add the Water Lily. So now we are missing... Reptiles, so we had to link both of them for the Lambda. So now we have four Reptiles, use Wire Lily, send Reptilian Cult, Special Summon, and make Chaos Ruler. This is when I said that is going to be a gambling combo because we're going to be doing a lot of shenanigans like this because with a hand that we started with, we have no choice. So, Chaos Ruler is going to mill. Let's see what we got. Anything good? Hopefully. Ooh. Night Sword Serpent with Chaos Ruler is the best. We just need more cards like Night Sword Serpent so we can do plays like this. This is so free. Okay, banish three darks. We're going to shuffle a card. Now, we know as a fact there's going to be no way... Well, there is a possibility to still handle up your opponent... But this is very hard in this specific situation to do so. And it all depends what you draw into. Especially with Saruja. It would be quite hard. Or with Chaos uh, Space as well. So we're going to return the King. We draw into Chaos Space. Which is not that bad. We're going to send Driver. Get our Chaos Ruler. Summon Chaos Ruler. Use Chaos Ruler's effect. So let's start returning. So we're going to summon the Cult. Put at the bottom, Link for Saruja. Are the cards? Okay, perfect. So we're definitely going to keep Star Leech. It kind of sucks that we got those two, but it's okay. So special summon it with Saruja, then use it. So we're going to use that. Get the white, because we have a lot of dark. Use Star Leech to get back the Levineer. Okay, banish, special, striker. Use both effects. Very nice. So we got black, boot, link, dragonity, Romulus, get Dragon Ravine. Nice, banish, black. We're going to get Omega because with Lambda, that's going to give us an extra interruption and also hand loop our opponent for one. Use Dragon Ravine, send the Levineer that we added to hand, send Abs, get our Tracer. Play our boot. Supposed to summon the tracer. Use tracer. Pop the boot. Oh, the dragon ready. Two, 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 two. Pop the dragon ready. Because you want the boot for your follow up turn, just in case if things go south. So, dragon ready it was. Now, chaos ruler. Special. Make hot red. Use omega. Hand loop for one. Lambda's effect. And face. We're going to get our gamma. Now, with a hand, keep in mind, we completely bricked, and we still was able to handle our opponent for two, got hand trapped with Imperm. So, that was definitely a hard game to play around, especially what we started with, and now we ended up with two negates as well, and also with our Tracer, we have a few plays that we could possibly do as well, so... We're going to pass it to our opponent. Okay. Let's see what they do. Play that. To start their brave combo. 
Like give me this. So technically I could have stopped that, but I didn't want to. So I wanted to focus more on this. Okay, summon. That's going to trigger. We're going to do hot red to negate that card. Yeah, because it has two effects, so that's why I really want to hit that one. Okay, they're going to link, make needle fiber, a lion. Okay. We're just going to let it pass because we want to hit the Phantom Beast instead. Foolish. Okay. Okay. Phantom Beast. We're going to activate the effect. We're going to Gamma. Very nice. Perfect. Okay. End phase. Tracer is going to pop the driver. Get recharger. Lambda is going to get another gamma. And right there, as you can see, that is pretty much game. Make savage, set everything up, and GG. So now let's check our final game. Okay, now finally, what we're going to show you is that even though you can't hand loop your opponent all the time, you can still make an amazing board. And especially with a hand that's not so great, you could definitely do a lot. And if you notice all of these games, we didn't have snake grains, we didn't have really OP hands. We we're trying to show games that is more realistic. So... Yes, I can show you like the nuts hand and do like the biz combo. Did not want to do that. Wanted to show you what the deck could do with more of like the shittier hands. Okay, so we have Nunu, new, new, Darkest Diabolus, Naya, another Nunu, new, new, and then Levy Near. And our opponent has one interruption, which is Ash. So we're going to do Nunu. New, new. We're going Ash. Why not? Naya. Nunu effect. We're going to summon another Nunu. We're going to make our imp. Get our cult. Use curse. Perfect. Special summon and special summon darkest diabolus. So right over here, we're going to get our water lily. And since Naya is a dark, we can special summon the cult as well. But we're going to use darkest diabolus effect, which is pretty good so cult is going to spell summon then we're going to link it for chaos ruler because we do have already a lot of reptiles so we can do a lot of plays so right away i like that i saw chaos creator so we're definitely gaining that banish for chaos creator okay so like all three get recharger link for striker get boot Link for Dragonity. Get the Dragon Ravine. Banish 3 Dark for Eleven Year. Very nice. Chaos Space. Put back the Striker to draw. Okay, Naya again. Link for Saruja. Saruja to draw. Nice hand. So we're going to keep the Omni, the Black, the Naya the water lily and the boot perfect so saruja special omni is going to add so we're going to add tracer very nice link for pitsy pitsy effect special summon recharger perfect banish for black very nice link for herotic seal Link for Striker that we just returned. Add back. Very nice. Water Lily. We're going to send Night Sword to Special Summon the Cult. And Night Sword is going to Special Summon itself now. Very good. Okay. Link for Omega. Link for Lambda. Boot. Special Summon Tracer. Perfect. Special summon white, activate tracer, pop boot, get a rocket synchron, make savage, 
equip it with Suja. Now summon the Chaos Ruler. And then finally we're making Hot Red. So Omega, Banish, Lambda. We're going to add a Gamma. Now even though we current completely hand loop our opponent, and judging from that, we only hand loop for three, we still made an amazing board. Not only do we have literally four interruptions, but with our opponent's hand count and the size, in total, they're going to have only three cards, and we have four, well, three negates, so all three definitely gets rid of the three, but we also have one interruption as well. So even though we did not completely hand loop them, we definitely crippled them a lot and they won't be able to play on their turn. So just to show what they have, they have effect Veiler. Okay. They're going to use her effect. We're going Gamma because we don't care. And honestly, this is what I really love with uh, Gamma and Erotic Seal. We can literally tribute we have two options we can literally tribute the driver to return the gamma back to hand so we can actually use it again so actually if you think about it it's not just three negates and one interruption it could actually potentially be four negates so it's actually quite good so that's negate they're going to summon their veiler we're going heretic seal get rid of the Driver, return, because on the end phase, Gamma is going to get banished. Lambda is going to add a Gamma, and that is pretty much game, guys. And that's it for our COD hand testing. Now, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do apologize if it's not like our usual videos that we have. I am doing a lot of renovations in the studio, but I hope this would do. And if you guys definitely enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. And if you want a sneak peek of future products we're planning to review on the channel, you know what to do. Like and subscribe and follow me on my Instagram. I'm Vaughn and this was the Gear Channel.